In health news tonight, the annual Closer to Free Ride with hundreds of riders pedaling their way along the shoreline is coming up this weekend. It benefits Milo Cancer Hospital, Yale New Haven. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta says there are a record number of riders this year. Jocelyn? And in Darren, absolutely, this is the third year for Closer to Free, and already more than 850 riders are registered, more than doubling last year's number. Among them, a team riding for 13-year-old Casey Ridgway. Fun-loving and active in sports, 13-year-old Casey Ridgway took on a winning attitude with a lot of heart. Since very sincere, caring more about other people. But a form of bone cancer. She was so brave, and uh, you know, we took it one day at a time, one, uh, one step at a time. Dimmed Casey's bright light this summer. She never complained. She just she did whatever she had to do. In Casey's memory, Dad Tracy Ridgway is riding once again in the Closer to Free ride, benefiting Smilo Cancer Hospital at Yale New Haven. It was an honor to be a part of this and to do our part because these kids and these people that go through you know, they fight so much and they go through so much. This is what we can do. All American Waste, where he works, is a major sponsor of the ride. Among the group of seven co-workers joining him, boss Eric Fredrickson, who also signed on last year. It's very inspiring just seeing uh, the strength of her family and, and the community, the way people come together. It's uh, it, it really leaves an impression on you. Another lasting impression? It takes your breath away for a minute. It really does. The stop at Smilo with patients outside the entrance. There were people down there in wheelchairs with the, with their, their, their IV assemblies next to them. It was just this real overwhelming feeling to, to see firsthand who you're, who, who you're impacting. Support along the route pumps up the adrenaline already going strong. It's nice. It's nice to have somebody there uh, that you can be connected with, whether it's just uh, the honk of a horn or a, uh, or, or, or a clap or group cheering. Thankful for the support at work and the sea of riders, families like the Ridgeways are full of hope. We're waiting for that one day for that breaking news that they have a cure for cancer. And it's not too late to take part. You can still register at 6 a.m. before the start of the ride. That is set for this Saturday. For more information, log on to our website, WTNH.com. And tomorrow, I'll show you how the money raised benefits the fight against cancer. Anne?